Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today's gonna be actually a college vlog, which is crazy because I feel like I haven't posted college content in so long, and that's kind of the whole reason I even started my YouTube channel. And it's like bittersweet because it is the last first day for me ever at Cornell University, which is just insane. I can't believe I've been here for four years already and it's about to be over in a couple months. I'm going to get ready and take you guys out through my day. I literally just woke up, brushed my teeth and like turned the camera on because I was like, we gotta get this vlog going. It is 9.48 and I don't have class until 11.40. We're gonna just get ready and talk about being a senior, I guess, the whole time I get ready. And yeah, it's like not really snowing and it's also 32 degrees. So I'm gonna dress comfy and warm, but I'm not gonna go crazy because I also wear my big coat everywhere. So let's get changed and then I'll do my makeup. So I get changed first. Okay, now that I've changed, let's put some music on also because I also want to be in silence. Um, anyways, also this lighting is kind of killing it because my lamp is basically acting as a ring light. Yeah, that's the full setting. Okay, ring light. Put on my get ready playlist so I can hype myself up for the classes I have today. Alright, so basically, let's just get started. Let's get right into it. Today I have three classes. I have a class called... Intro to Latinos in U.S. History, and then I have a class called Self-Regulation Across the Lifespan, which is in the Human Development course. Okay, I don't think I can have music playing while I get ready because I'm gonna get distracted, but anyways. And then after that, the third and final class I have is called Physics of the Heavens and the Earth, which is physics for non-STEM majors. And there's like virtually no math involved in the class, which is so good for me because I haven't taken a math class since freshman year statistics. And that was like online, so it was super easy. I'm very excited for my classes this semester because I do have my first class today with my friend Alana. Yesterday actually was our first day, but I only had one class at 2.55. That class was called Social Gerontology, Aging in the Lifespan or something, or in the Life Course, something like that. And I literally switched into it yesterday morning because I didn't want to take a three-hour class anymore. <laughs> so I ended up having, now I have Monday, Wednesday. My original schedule, I did not have class on Monday or Friday, but now I have one class at 2.55 on Monday, which is honestly not that bad. This is so weird. Like, these are the final classes that I'm going to be taking here, which is just so weird for me to, like, think about when I've been here for so long. It doesn't even feel like that. And my friends and I were making a joke yesterday that like we're seniors but we like don't even know where half the buildings are on this campus. It just feels like there's so much left to do and experience and we haven't even like scratched the surface which is like kind of crazy. This semester I'm really like prioritizing getting everything I need done. I do have a couple of grad school applications to still send in to some schools for speech pathology. I also, like, I have a job and I really want to, you know, I want to get my money up before I leave college because I also have to find a job. It's so weird that like when you're in college, you really like, I feel like a lot of people, at least for me, since I'm not in a major where like, I can go straight into the workforce after, I'm not thinking about like what I'm going to do after besides graduate school, but I kind of have to like have a job because I'm going to be an adult in the world living and I need to pay for things, which is so crazy. Like I have a job right now, but it's like a campus job. So, you know, it's like not so crazy. Nothing too crazy, but I feel like I need a job. I don't know, talking more about like senior year and stuff. I think it's also just crazy that a lot of my friends that I have now, like right now, like the ones I even just mentioned, I have known them for all four years of my college experience, which is really crazy because I feel like I used to see a lot of videos of like, Oh, like your friends are not gonna stay the same blah 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 like your freshman year friends don't really last it's like yeah i have some people that i met freshman year that i'm not like close with anymore but the people i became friends with they're still my friends so i feel like when you make like really good friends your freshman year which 
everybody does like don't even worry about that they become your family especially when you're like away from home like we have helped each other with everything like taking each other to the doctor like while we're here going grocery shopping together things like that like it's comforting to know that i have like a community here which is like the best thing ever my college experience definitely would not have been the same without any of my friends um my life honestly would not have been the same without most of my friends like the whole reason i even started my youtube channel was because i met my friend alana through her youtube channel and like being friends with her i was like motivated to like even start it like after the fact which i'm like so grateful for i don't even think she knows that but like she's low-key like the reason i actually started like for real just continuing to talk about like my experience here at college i am very like grateful and blessed that i was able to have like the time and like energy to be involved in so many things actually which is kind of crazy to me like i think i've always been the kind of girl that's just been like involved in whatever she does um like in high school and middle school like i was always very involved in everything like clubs events etc so it's really cool to, that quality of me is still here even in college which is, like i honestly didn't even like notice it until i was here um because a lot of people were like captain how are you doing so much and i was like this like i need to do more like kind of vibe um i don't know i feel like i have always just been like a person that wants to do everything like um i'm currently in apo the service frat i'm in Rosai ada the health my healthcare sorority and i'm in sci i actually hold a position in Rosai, which is the academic chair and i'm also in Psychi, which is the Psychology and Human Development Honor Society and that I'm actually president of right now, which I'm so grateful for. I do have my job on campus at the Einhorn Center for Community Engagement. And yeah, I'm also part of P3, the pre-professional program here at Cornell. And it's a program for minority students who are interested in going into like professional track. So all those things that have like, you know, a pre in front of it, pre-med, pre-health, pre-law, pre-dental, like stuff like that. What else is there to talk about? I'm trying to like think. Oh, I guess I could talk about how I've literally like currently I'm in my dorm room and I've literally lived on campus all four years of college and for some people that might be a little like weird especially my friends they like all all of them live off campus except for gabby honestly i have enjoyed living on campus especially the way that my campus is set up my dorms have always been super close to where all my classes are and if you know ithaca and cornell there are so many hills the distance from literally one building to the next on campus like there's it's just so far sometimes and it's like i would rather be close to class because i go so frequently than like be in college town yeah i'm very grateful to have been able to even stay on campus because i know for some that's not even possible like it's a little expensive but i've been grateful to have been able to um and i've met so many people by staying on north campus like last year i made a couple friends when i was a junior i made friends who were freshmen and i still talk to them like to, to this day it's so fun like it's a good like community and stuff and like i've been able to like branch out my like connections and stuff by staying on campus which i really i do enjoy i had no intentions of this being a whole like things you need to know like i wish i knew before i mean i could that's a good idea. I could make that a video like 20 things I wish I knew before I was a senior in college or whatever. If you guys want that video, let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely do that. But yeah, this is exciting also because <laughs> I think when I post this video, like in like a couple weeks, Ivy Week will be occurring. So if you guys see this and you've gotten into Cornell, I wish you the best, honestly. Because I, as much as I love to complain about like, oh, school, oh my gosh, Cornell, like I wish I was home or oh, like I wish I was doing this. We're never happy with what we have. We're always wanting more. And I think I've kind of gotten into that mindset of like, what's mine is mine. What is happening to me will happen to me no matter what. And the best thing I can do is live in that moment and enjoy it for what it is or deal with it for what it is. And yeah, I think that's like one of the biggest things that's kind of gotten me through college and life in general, honestly. But yeah, I'm very like excited, grateful that I have the opportunity to come to a school like this and also, you know, have been able to maintain like my time here and build community and like i don't know it's just i'm gonna like start crying i'm like i'm a senior like i'm getting emotional because it's my senior year <laughs> this is so weird that's a thing people would ask me like oh like how do you feel it's your last year like you're about to be done with college like are you upset are you excited and i'd be like honestly yeah i'm excited i'm ready to like go because I want to go to grad school and I want to start my career, this and that. Like, that's how I was thinking. And right now, sitting here talking, I'm, like, getting, like, hot. Like, 
Like I'm nervous for my, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm getting like nervous for the semester, which is crazy, but I have a good feeling about it. I, you know, I'm gonna prioritize like spending time with my friends and also doing obviously really good in school and you know, focusing on my academics. Focusing on my academics. <laughs> my major is currently human development. Currently it is, it's staying that way. And I have two minors actually. One of them is in linguistics and the other is in quality studies on the health equity track. Yeah, I did all of that so that I could kind of have a good base for speech pathology since I obviously am not a school that offers that. I was able to like kind of tailor all my classes to be about child development and language development. So that was very, very like, very helpful because I feel like I have a different view and perspective on top of having taken the prerequisites for speech language pathology and my inequality studies minor on the health equity track actually was like super super helpful to understand the world of healthcare and just different communities in general and like the inequalities and like injustices that they face. I feel like I'm rambling and like none of this, this is not a linear conversation at all. It's very much a chit chat, get ready with me. Heavy on the chit chat. <laughs> I'm not really putting on blush today because I have a longer, my day today is longer and I do have work after class, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Now that that's all done, I really have, here's a complete finished look, and these are the scars that I really need to put on because it is brick. Here's the, the fit, yes I'm wearing a crop top, relax on me, all of my shirts are crop tops. This is white long sleeve, my comfy pants, Uggs, and I'm gonna be wearing this hoodie that my friends gifted me for my birthday because I don't know if you can you can see from here but it is flurrying like crazy. I'm about to go meet Alana. She's sitting in a lecture hall by herself right now. And I've decided I'm choosing comfort over style today because I was using this as my bag, but I'm gonna use my book bag today because it's snowing and you know when like you have a coat on and like it's fine. But I also would rather have this so it's not like annoying and bulky as I'm walking. Um, so yeah, we're gonna repack my bag. Well, I'm about to step out. I gotta zipper my coat up real quick, but this is what happens when you go to school upstate. <laughs> Amazon and hers is like eighty dollars because <laughs> you bought it. But for I you? bought it for her. So. <laughs> oh my god, it's snowing, snowing. Yeah, that's why I'm bundled up like this, and I'm like, I'm sitting there, and everybody's walking out with like a light jacket, hey, and I'm like, st uh, story moment. Oh, okay, quick story moment for the for the content. I told my vlog you need to get back on your vlogging. Yeah, I do need to get back on my vlogging. Also, look at this. Oh. The <laughs> clock tower. No, it's fine. With the. Oh my god, there's it's so much more. Wait, that one? That's yeah. One? I've never been in this. Alana and I before. are currently walking to our class called Intro to. Latinos in US history. I look crazy right now. Look at this. <laughs> and I'm holding the camera up a face. Look like a gnome. Wait, yeah, we'll go this way. I literally. I hope somebody recognizes us while we're vlogging. While I'm vlogging, I'm like, why are we looking like twins right now? The same scarf is crazy. No, actually. <laughs> oh, this hood. She also bought me this hoodie. Guys, I'm fitted up by Alana today. <laughs> I just realized it's because Catherine's birthday is in winter, so like you always gotta like buy her like winter. Shit. Yeah, what's that? I'm gonna put that song over this clip. Oh, the it? cold and winter oh, night, yeah. whatever. But yeah, we're so excited. We have what two is classes. That from? Is that from Frozen? Frozen? We have two classes together. Some I can't see. I don't know what's going on yeah, right now. That man just stared at me as I was vlogging. He made direct eye contact with me, even though I can't see. Yo, that building is gonna fall down. Why do they have scaffolding on it? Anyways. I don't even like why is there no? okay, We're going to class in one of the oldest buildings on campus. I think it was these three buildings the are the first, are like ones. The first ever buildings on this campus. Yeah, here you go. Here's a campus tour. Cornell. These three buildings were the first ones ever built on campus. Imagine. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to go to class. What well, class is in like 10 minutes? Yeah. Well, it starts at 11:40, but we gotta find our way through this crusty building. Yeah, because I've never had a class in here. Because I usually am on the Cal Squad, but. <laughs> Time to go. We're sitting in class, guys. So we're the Latinos sitting in our Latino U.S. history class. Facts. This is what it looks like. It's so. actually kind of nice. Like I didn't expect this room to look nice. Yeah, facts. Our professor's up there. Hey, ma'am. Getting ready to be studious. 
What? Getting ready to be studious. Okay. We'll give you a rating after the class is finished. They're making us do icebreakers. Oh, this is for the vlog? Yeah, I didn't want to whip out the camera. But... Yeah, so basically, we have to turn to someone we don't know, but nobody turns to us. So, <laughs> we're talking to each other right now. So, what's your name? So, I'm a psychology major, but I'm in this class just because I need to take, like, credits. Mm -hmm. So, what about you? I'm an HD major, actually. So, kind of similar. Yeah, really similar. <laughs> Anyways. I know a lot of the classes are like cross-listed or whatever. Okay. <laughs> Not you being dead. <laughs> These are my notes so far. <laughs> finished our first class. I don't know what I look like. I'm scared. Well, I finished my first class. I finished my last class. Yeah. So now I'm walking to my second class and she's walking to get food. Yeah. I'm tired though already. But the class was fun. What? I was going to say, people only get embarrassed if you think about what other people think. Yeah, you I don't know? care what other people think. is a mindset. You can't be Facts. embarrassed. Get the mindset out of here. The class we're in, honestly, is pretty chill. The professor seems so nice. And we're just learning about Latino history in US. So like, our history or whatever. <laughs> Which is fun and exciting. But also it's freezing and my hands are about to go numb, so. I'll see you guys when I'm at the next lecture. Hey guys, okay, so I'm here with Ariana. Hi guys. <laughs> Anyways, we have our class together. Um, Self-regulation across the lifespan. I look so dumb with lighting, okay? No, I look horrible in this. What do you mean? Yeah, no, Why is my face look so secular? But it's with a professor that we've already had. Yeah, for and, aging and adulthood. Yeah, and um, she's actually like nice, and it looks like low-key and easy eyes. So. I'm excited. I had, this is my second class of the day. And it's in the- This is also my second class of the day. Yeah. Is it your last one? Um, human bonding's canceled for, um, today. Why? That woman cancels class like crazy and then no one even shows up Also, after. I know I'm like a smoker, but I promise I'm not a smoker. <laughs> Me with my smoker's call. <laughs> Every time I laugh, it sounds like that. It's so bad. We were in lecture and the professor was looking kind of silly. It was my Latino history class and I was giggling a little bit. And yeah. It was always like... <laughs> After every single lab, and it was like so I'm bad. They're probably like, she's smoking pack a day. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's, the class is literally in like 30 minutes, so we're sitting outside the lecture hall. We literally have nothing to do because there's like no work to do yet. Yeah, because it's the second day of the week. Literally. And I had one class yesterday, so we're having a, a grand old time. I mean, she's stuck with me always. I think we've had a class almost every semester, except for last semester. No. No, we had MS. It was spring yeah. semester yeah. of last year. Every, like, That's when I joined Rosa. <laughs> Yeah, three to four semesters. Because then when we had no classes, I was like, I'm gonna join all of your- All my clubs, like, you're good. <laughs> but then she did join all my But clubs. I joined all her clubs. Yeah, because she just wants to be with me all the time. I'm, I'm just, just obsessed with so her, you know. Facts, as you should be. Anyways, we're being studious. <laughs> There's nothing on the screen. <laughs> Open so, an empty dog. So much hard work going on. Bro, silly minute thing, joke you made yesterday, like how it's only been like, Two like two minutes of going over the syllabus that happened in my Latino history class. She went over the syllabus. Bare, I don't even think she even mentioned it. She was like, oh, "The syllabus is up," and then she started talking about immigration. I was like, I "The IC like, professor was like, we're probably not gonna work for like the first two weeks just so that we can get settled in." <laughs> I was like, oh. "We're not gonna ever. We're not gonna ever." Literally. Um, I'll see you guys when we're in class. So I made it out of my last class just now, and I'm on my way to my final class of the day, which is actually a physics course for non-STEM majors, um, and it's called Physics of the Heavens and the Earth, and I'm low-key kind of excited for it, like that sounds kind of kooky of me, but kind of excited, and it's literally across the street from the class I just took, so I'm walking there now. Now that my classes are over, I have work, and I had to get lunch before because I realized I literally barely ate all day, so... Make sure you eat during your classes and in between them because I'm not, don't be like me. Eat. I'm going into work and it should be rather chill um, unless somebody comes in. So that's good. A chill night. And yeah, let's go to the Kennedy Hall. I'm in the elevator for work right now. I'm literally sweating. Like, one thing about it, about the winter, is that like, I'm bundled up. So when I'm walking to class, I'm sweating even though it's like 10 degrees outside. I can't wait to sit down and take all this off. So yeah. Third floor of the Kennedy Hall. It's where I work. I probably shouldn't say exact location. Hey. <laughs> I made it to work, and guess who's here with me? 
I'm literally her boss. Get to work. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, good job. Anyways, I'm gonna devour my sandwich. I literally I had my lunch, and now I have to make a post for a like summer job. Um, and this is what I've done. Launch a lot. Oh, and if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe. <laughs> Currently 7.03, my shift ended at 7 and I'm going home now. I literally have to walk, which is tragic, but it's it'll be okay. And then I have nothing else to do, honestly, for the rest of the day, so I'm just gonna be chilling in my room, or, like watching One Piece or something, because that's what I've been doing with my life since I, it's syllabus week, and I don't really have anything to do, so. That's that. Let's get on to walking back home now. Okay, I'm currently walking back to my dorm. I took the bus because it was raining. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna walk in this rain in the dark right now. Cause I will slip and fall. Basically here, cause the bus stop was like down the block from where I live. Thank God. Don't think I forgot. One day I'm gonna give like a whole like tour of this place because I feel like that's fun and necessary. Oh my God, look who's home. Hey vlog, this is my sweet main mod. Perth. Can you not describe me as sweet main? Sorry. Like, this is my daughter, yeah. Maria Santa. Have you done a room tour? No, I was saying that I'm gonna do, that's probably gonna be the next video after this. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I was filming my last first day at Cornell. I'm out of breath from those damn stairs. Return to my humble abode. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to like get all of this stuff off because I've been wearing this coat literally all day. Yeah. Relieved right now. One thing I love, like I enjoy the winter, it's not like anything crazy to me, but the layers get me. Like once I'm like somewhere and I have all the layers on, I'm like, so sometimes I'd rather be cold, but my mom would yell at me if I didn't cover up because I am also low key sick right now. So like, I would only get sicker. What's Santa? Santa? Oh, it's Jeremy. Jeremy, you want to be my vlog? What's up? Want to be my vlog? Oh my God, I'm gonna be in the vlog. Hey! Say, say who you are. My name is Jeremy. Yeah. I'm a senior and I'm a, I'm a freshman. I introduce you because you're my my daughter. Aww. Anyways, I just locked myself out of my room just to come say hi to Jeremy. I've locked myself out of my room maybe like seven times this whole year. Did I'll just you? go call Tanya. My phone is in there. You locked yourself out? Yeah. My door doesn't like open up lock unless I open it properly. Hey, say hi to the vlog, Justin. Hey vlog. Okay, never mind. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Say hello to the vlog. Hello to the vlog. My name is Santana Casas. Damn. <laughs> He's ready with it. And oh. you are watching this. And you. Do, 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 do. I'm, Tell us what? I'm too lazy to move. Tell us about, tell us about your first day. Or, today was not your first day. So, as you can see, I live in Texas. Wait. I live in Texas. Yes. And I love Texas with my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. And Texas is a lot different than Ithaca. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to be here. Not really. Don't come to Ithaca. Don't come to Cornell. You will. You actually. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. He just never yeah. experienced snow or the yeah. cold weather so now he's like but even then traumatized. even then you just get a good coat and you're good yeah you had a good coat today yeah and i was sweating <laughs> i was i'm not even gonna show the vlog <laughs> the vlog don't need to see the that at home. that would be i'd get like censored they'd be like yeah. block the channel oh be like oh no fund my botox in my armpits so i can <laughs> for my hyperhidrosis i can get shock therapy though i've seen that before where you like you, sh you like you put your hands on little pads and then i didn't wet. know that yeah. that's crazy I've, I've i've dealt with this all my life what did you have today? Tell I had world. Um, climate change and global warming, mm -hmm. which is honestly so sad to learn about because I, like, I just feel our like world is dying. our world is dying and we're dying and there's nothing to live for. Yeah. And then I had. Did he give that disclaimer <laughs> at the beginning of class? <laughs> no, I, it's like 150 people. And, um, and I told Kathy, I'm not gonna tell you this part. I, was, I, I never sensed it. But, <laughs> but the way I, like, I had, the, it was jam packed full of people. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the second row. And the way every row in the second row, every seat in the second row was filled up, except the ones next to me, you would have thought I stunk or something. And I <laughs> made sure did. I did it. No, I made sure I did, did it. Did you say like, you were sweating like crazy? Yeah, but I have deodorant. Like, I, I, you can sweat and not smell. Okay, but like, you never know. No, no, I, I don't <laughs> smell. <laughs> Maybe you did. No, I did. Wait, so it was everything was packed except for right around you? No, like, like, like. <coughs> Like, there was like uh, empty spots, right? But, but like, you were the only one that didn't have anybody next to you at all? No, there was, there was like people. You're mad dramatic. <laughs> like, like, I mean, no, but I, I just felt like, 
don't I look welcoming and inviting and Yeah, friendly? like nobody wants to be your friend, nobody wants to sit next to you, like you're not like the cool mysterious kid sitting in the front no, of class, I'm... like nobody wants- You were in the front of class? My hypothesis is that I'm so beautiful and I'm intimidating, intimidating. and so they just- That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I'd be scared of you too. I wouldn't walk up to you until maybe the seventh class. <laughs> seventh is crazy. <laughs> the seventh class is like- He's a pro that means. Then I had a plant science lab and I measured little plants. Oh yeah, he's a plant scientist. Yeah, he brought cool. us this corn one day. Yeah. Oh, there's a tree me? stump in our... Yeah. yeah. Can I bring it? Go in the bathroom so I can show you guys the other gift that Santana brought us. That he leaves in here because apparently this, this is, is his one too. Shiitake mushroom log. Santana Casas, November 14, 2020. Uh-huh. In about a year, mushrooms are going to pop out of these little... And they're just going to... I won't be here, but you need to send me yeah. pictures when and that does. It's because these bitches don't take showers enough because... Because if the air, if they would have moisture in the air, then it wouldn't be spoiled. We First of all, I take a shower every day, and so does Mad. Nah, just not moisture just showers. Very... Should we be taking hot showers so yeah. there's like... Yeah, so because it, it needs the, needs the steam. Well, guys, I'm going to be so for real. I literally just changed locations and have been laying in my bed for the last like, I don't even know, like 40 minutes maybe. And I feel like going to sleep. It's 8.30. But I told myself that I was going to edit my birthday vlog today so I could post it tomorrow. But I think, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep in like two seconds. Since I've literally just been sitting here for the last like 30 minutes, 40 minutes just doing nothing. And this is about time where I start to do like my night routine. Get ready for bed, watch my shows, read a book. I'm ready to just call it a night. I don't know why feel so tired today. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my longer days, so like it makes sense, but I'm just super exhausted. Like I could fall asleep right now. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my last first day at Cornell University, which is really crazy. I never thought I would ever say that in like a million years. It's so weird. I feel like I just, the first video I ever posted on here was my sophomore year, like day in the life. And I'm posting like my last day, first, my last first day which is just crazy as a senior. If you've been here for that long, thank you so much. That honestly is crazy. But if you enjoy this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I am posting a new video every week. If you want to see more of me, all of my social media will be linked down below. Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, Pinterest, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!